take a good look at yourself do you look responsible i mean look at your hair the dread and all that if you're a christian a real christian you're supposed to be dressing this way yes so my people we are back on another episode of blind dates we are here to match two people together and i pray it works out today so let me carry you there my brother what's your name once again uh, my name is kejuka kejuka which work do you do um i'm a content creator i can say all right can you kindly tell us the type of lady you are expecting here today um i'm expecting a, a moderate babe uh, not too fat not too tall wet beef good character all right i pray you get everything today so my sister what's her name cynthia so cynthia which work do you do i run a small food business all right can you tell us the type of man you are expecting here today well i'm expecting a good looking tall nice guy that has respect for women all right it really matters that respect really matters so at the count of one two three both of them are going to face each other one two three face each other so my brother tell me do you like what you are saying yeah she's good even her skin she's good to go i like her all right my sister do you like what you are saying he's not bad he's not bad well why are you looking at me like that you've not seen somebody dressed this way before uh, um <clears throat> not really but I'm, i just i'm just trying to get something because uh in islamic religion you know we're supposed to be dressing this way so that was why i was staring at you oh so let me ask or like what religion are you are you a christian or a muslim i'm a christian i'm a christian so i don't think it can work out mr luda oh sorry can you tell us why it can't work out between both of you because immediately he turned he was assessing the way i dressed and i can tell he was being judgmental um let me see i'm not trying to judge you i was just trying to say you can you know you can adjust your dress thing. you know it's too exposed outside you understand in, in if you're a christian a real christian you're supposed to be dressing this way so you're telling me that the way i am dressed comfortable in my own skin you are trying to use it to judge my religion is that it i'm not judging you anyway i'm not judging you. i'm just trying to say you can you can put it up you understand you can Wait, if I may ask, do you, are you aware about a girl they rape online? Well, I'm not, but what happened? Why did they rape her? Okay, I must say, she was raped because of her dress. Walking around in a skin that I'm comfortable with attracts rapists, right? So you're trying to say that I'm not, a girl is not supposed to dress the way she wants and walk around so that people will not rape her. Is that it? Her body, they were drawn to her body. Those people were animals, not human beings. If that's how you're going to judge things, that's not how to do things. Okay. I must say I'm a Muslim, right? But in your scripture, we say in, in Christian, heaven, heaven help who help themselves, right? I, I think you need to step up because if you don't, <laughs> you'll be, you won't see a man who... who... This is the ogre. You don't know me. You don't know my personality. You don't know my beliefs. But you already turned that you are judging me because... I am dressed the way I am. You are a Muslim, I'm a Christian, and I'm probably guessing you are a Yoruba. I'm an Igbo too. So there's no need to extend this long talk any further. I don't think we can work out because oh. no, you, you, you are too judgmental. I don't like judgmental people. You don't know if I'm a, if I'm a good Christian. You're already judging my dressing and all. Excuse me. You said I'm a Yoruba, right? My culture does not matter because I know many Igbo guys who are Muslims. You understand i think if we make this work out fine we can still make a good family what happened to your i think i've seen you in this um, show before what happened to your girlfriend the former one yeah it means the girl you both did video together then this is the video below if you can remember uncle you are ugly uh, auntie you are ugly too how dare you, you mean i'm ugly eh? all right thank you so tell her what happened in the relationship uh, yeah i think she's after my money though you know she we started the relationship you know suddenly she just changed start as she just started and acting strange you know different different stuff which i could not bear to have to with the relationship so you just you are in a relationship with her and then you instantly decided that she was after your money what what did she do that made made you think that she was after your money and 
I don't, I don't, I don't think we can work out because ah, we already judging me. Are you, I don't, we've, we've not even heard from the other girl. You decided she was after everybody, and you are here trying to, trying to tell me how to dress, how to behave, unless rapists will come and rape me because I am, I am comfortable enough in the way I'm dressed in my own skin. I don't, I don't, I don't get. Is salute that this thing can't work out, I beg. Oh, uh, okay. I want to ask something. Can you create a woman? Can I, can I create a woman? I can't create a woman, but I am bring one to earth. I'm not the one that created it, but I give, I at least I participate in doing something as a woman. Let me go born the child now. Okay, Let she me means you go another, reproduce. Let me ask another question. Who created Yoruba? Who created Igbo? God. So why are you saying that we can't marry? Because you are judging me. You just turned around and you started, you started judging the way I'm dressed, the way I'm to behave. You don't know anything about me and you're telling me, can you call me this and that? I don't, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I wasn't judging you. I was just trying to just, you know, to just enlighten you a little because there are some guys out there who, who, who really love all this kind of your dressing. Once they see, they can't be able to control themselves. So that's why I was just trying to just, I'm not judging okay, you. Okay. You look at yourself. Take a good look at yourself. Do you look responsible? I mean, look at your hair, the dread, and all that. Do you look like a responsible? Is this how a very good Muslim is supposed to dress and come out and start judging people? Like, uh, you don't look responsible enough to me, though. Okay, the last time I said, I'm, I'm a content creator, right? Mm -hmm. I do this. This is what my, my followers know oh, me as. So, so. I'm not to judge you because it's what your followers like, but you have to judge me because I like what, how I'm dressed. Is that it? I don't have any right to judge you, but you are judging me already. Apart from my dread, what, what, what error do you have in my dressing, please? Apart from my gown, what error do you have in my dressing? Look at your whole body is full show. Look at your dread. Is it showing? Look at it. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't write I am responsible. It doesn't seem responsibility to me at all. Mr. Luda. Mr. Luda. I think this is not working out. I spent all my transport all the way from Ireland coming to here to see this girl. No, you, you spent all your transport coming here to be judgmental. That was what you did. Anyways, seems it's not going to work out between both of them. Because of tribe and religion. And beliefs. We don't have the same belief at all. Then, is it no? Is it no? It Thank no. you for watching. But please, if you have any other advice for people that are being being selected because of tribe and religion please kindly tell us thank you for watching